So right half forward, elects to sit it up to the tip of the goal square. Wants some tall timber. And no mark taken in the end. Well done for the Allies by Harris Andrews. His kick not as good. And the ball eventually out of play. And the, the Allies, of course, in the white jumpers, uh, the nab jumpers, if you like, a year older. And you'll see that with both their size and their body weight. So a bit bigger, a bit stronger. Uh, and the young Australian under 17 side, so they'll... They'll really beat them, I think, on the spread with their pace and athletic ability. Uh, and we saw that in the first uh, couple of passages of play. Their speed on the outside was well, pretty impressive. Eads and then well even Eads. Here's a chance for a Chi who went round the corner. And the ball offhand through for one behind. But back to Jason Saddington. Credit to him and also Mark Browning for the work they've done in the Northern States. The New South Wales market, crucial at this point in time. And... Their performance in the national championships this year was phenomenal. Yeah, and I think Mark Browning deserves an enormous amount of credit for the work he's done over many, many years. Uh, in Tassie, that initially in New South Wales and in Queensland, he's the talent manager up in that region, a former Swans captain, of course. No mark taken. You spoke about Cocker too. Here he is, Kev. Spun out of trouble. Interesting option to retreat inside defensive 50. But still a chance with some time and space. Andrews... Kick towards Steele at left half back. O'Kearney's also been busy. Almost was clobbered. Here goes Weller. Highly rated youngster from Queensland. Up and under ball. Three on one in the end. Proust managed to neutralise it well. Ball spills free. Hodgson sees an option inside 50. Kick was really good in the end. He saw the defender was out positioned. And in the end, great delivery. Fanfits have been exemplary today. In the end, ball spills free. Good pressure by the NAB AFL Academy. Ball inside 50 for the Allies. Chance for Coglin. Ducked his head, tried to work his way through a tight space. Jones was just about pushed. Umpire said nothing doing. Fist in. Crocker now. At half back. Daring kick. Didn't pay off in the end. Chance now for the Allies. Andrews lays it back. Heaney over the top to Davis and he'll mark. Well, Crocker just made a mistake going across yeah. goals on that occasion. Thought he played pretty well in the uh, the, the grand final last. Look at him, and uh, he'd be a lightly bidding prospect for for the, uh, about ten days' time. Heaney, very, very uh, classy, isn't he? Just good ball use once again on that occasion. But and here he's on cue. <laughs> what about the improvisation to get that handball backwards? On his side, the turnover. The Academy boys with numbers. His Crocker last championships last year, prolific in an under type. Yeah, then he. As a 17-year-old, backed it up in the under-18s this year with all Australian honours. There's only the handful of boys do that in their bottom age year. Uh, so contested ball winner on the inside, can get it on the outside as well. Will lay the tackles. He's a star at that stuff and uh, he's been a solid player again today. He's all the tricks, can jump on their shoulders as well and has got leadership to boot. Good spoil by Francis as we see some keen onlookers. Decent enough crowd in attendance early on on grand final day. Why wouldn't you come in and soak up everything that the day has to offer? Parsons, reasonable handball over. See it tossed up. The boys from uh, up Queensland will be a little bit more used to this weather than perhaps some of the Melbourne guys would be. Uh, it's a truly warm morning. And that it is, Terry. Heading towards a top of 24 degrees. Picture perfect Melbourne spring day. It's in the open draft, so not part of that bidding process. And uh, I see him as a top 20 choice. He's be, he's just his player. speed and his use of the ball as a lead. Oh, he's going to be a player, no doubt. Terry Wallace, before him, Kevin Chee and Tristan Fernandez, my name. We hope you're enjoying coverage of this curtain raiser. Live and exclusive on afl.com.au. If you don't have a. And then followed up his work on the secondary occasion, so that's some good work as well. So, ball tossed in. Andrews now in the ruck for the Allies. And some people at home, Kev, might be wondering how the academy squads are selected. If you could just shed some light on the that process. Yeah, so we have, it's now known as the NAB AFL Academy. They pick two squads a year. 25 players picked out of the AFL Under-16 Championships and 35. Predictability to your teammates would be the message you're trying to get through. Four minutes left in this third term. Academy boys in desperate need of a goal, as you can see on your screens. 25-point lead to the Allies. Four goals, eight never helps, Tristan. It doesn't. They've squandered a few gettable opportunities too. Here's the traffic at speed. 
His kick needed to be pinpoint inside 50. No mark taken. We've got two minutes left in this third term. Chance for Andrews. Walks inside 50. The big man does the discipline thing. Tries to square it up. No mark taken. Good contest. In the end, it was Jeffs who's hurt himself. Keep an eye on him, boys. But it's real end-to-end -end staff. The game's opened up well and true. Laid the handball off. Tahana in a world of strife was stripped of it. And now on the counter, the Allies a chance to just about put this game to bed. They should do it. Weller streaming into an open goal. Excitement machine, he does. And that'll be just about all she wrote here for this game of footy, you'd think. And Lockie Weller on two occasions. Imagine he strings some consistent football together. Well, he actually spent a week at North Melbourne earlier in the year as part of the NAB AFL Academy program, and they loved him. Yeah. They loved his influence around the group. They loved the way he trained. They loved the way he just was around the club. So, obviously, creates a really good impression. Breakout speed for North Melbourne. I'm not surprised. He'll be on an <laughs> AFL list next year. The body strength around the middle of the ground has just been too good, and then we've had the class uh, on top of that, you know, running and carrying. So they've been able to play the inside and the outside game, the Allies boys. Andrews did well. His cocker too. Got his hands free. Balik managed to shark. His handball was a hospital one to O'Kearney. And the ball locked in. I think it's obvious as well that the uh, academy's missing a couple of their top liners too. So Darcy Parrish, yeah. Darcy Tucker. If you threw those guys in, Jacob Hopper as well, I think it would be a little bit closer. Once again, stalemate and shoes. Well, and as we've sort of said, I mean, it should have been closer anyway. Yep. They've just missed opportunities uh, as well with their scoring. Davis Here tried to get the quick kick away. Well, a thought about putting on the afterburners. Elected instead to kick to a one-on-one -on -one inside forward 50. Howard's been busy. Half back, they've done it really well. And the free kick picked out. Taken too high there was Jackson. And he'll just relieve the pressure. Bellick up to 12 now, possessions. Andrews, another decent sized player, chips inboard, Jones has been busy, kicks now looking for steel, Terry's liked his game, and 19 for Yesterneeds, it's a good name, he delivers up forward, the kick was poor, gave Shaki no chance at it, and in the end Jackson for the Allies just chisels one in towards the corridor, Andrews mark, laid it off to Hislop who's been busy, now a chance for Weller, he marked, he wants to go all the way. He's expected to be a pretty high pick next year. Had a really good season for the John Falcons and just shows that inside ball winning ability. 38 point lead here for the Allies. They've been impressive. Remembering that some of these numbers will be down on what they would normally be in a full uh, yes, length game. We've only been playing the, the 20 minute quarter, so uh, yep. some of the numbers will be marginally down. And there's Dawson's kick was smothered. As well as rotations too, Correct. given 10 on the bench for the academy side and only a few for the uh, for the allies. So and that makes it harder for the academy boys just to get that continuity into the game as well. As you can see in the background, crowd slowly starting to flock into the MCG. Really good day for football. Not a breath of wind here in Melbourne. Sun shining, ground too early. I mean, sometimes that's the thing that uh, forwards have got to you know, really understand their leading patterns. They've got to hold and wait until the player lifts his eyes up. Uh, as soon as he got hold of the ball, that he was on the on the move already. Just uh, it just made it too short of a distance between the two players. Here's Mills, got through traffic really well, unfortunately.